I'm Jacob. Have you ever heard the word diabetes? Perhaps you've heard people talk about it. Maybe even know someone who has it. Diabetes is a common disease that can affect kids of all ages and many adults. There are actually two types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. You may have heard some grown-ups talking about having diabetes. This is usually type 2 diabetes. When a person has type 2 diabetes, the pancreas, that big organ next to the stomach, can usually still make insulin, but just not enough, or there is some reason that the insulin can unlock the cell door. People with type 2 diabetes can control it by eating a healthy diet, exercising regularly, and taking pills that can either help the pancreas make more insulin or make the insulin work better. We're here to tell you all about what type 1 diabetes is and help you understand it. You can't tell by looking. On the outside, people with diabetes look the same as you and me. On the inside, however, their bodies have parts that don't work properly or sometimes don't even work at all. Kids with diabetes have some pretty important stuff they have to do to make sure they feel well and stay feeling well. We're going to take the next five minutes or so to show and tell you all about how people with type 1 diabetes take care of themselves. When you eat, your stomach digests or breaks down your food small enough so it can be sucked up in your bloodstream. Part of this broken down food is called glucose. Basically, it's a type of sugar. In your bloodstream, there are hungry cells that want to gobble up the glucose. This gives your cells energy to do their jobs. To get the glucose into the cells, you must have insulin. Insulin is a hormone, or a protein, made by the pancreas, the very large organ next to the stomach. Insulin works like a key to open the cells and let glucose in. The pancreases of people with type 1 diabetes don't make any insulin. Without insulin, cells would not get fed, and all the glucose would stay in your blood, causing high glucose levels. Not good. This high level of sugar in the blood is what makes your friends with diabetes feel sick and over time can lead to serious health problems. Simply put, diabetes means your body can't use the food you eat. So a person with this disease has a broken pancreas, so no insulin is produced. And the insulin can't open the cell, and the cell can't eat the sugar. Think of it like driving a car. No gas, no go. If diabetics don't take really good care of themselves, they can become very sick. It's a lot of work, but the good news is, for kids with diabetes, most of the time they can run around like crazy, just like you. The reason why some children develop diabetes while others don't is not very well understood, yet. That is why research is so very important in finding the cause and the cure. When a kid is diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, they will have to take insulin for the rest of their lives. Insulin has to be given by an injection, with a needle, or with the use of a device called a pump, which looks like a cool beeper. These days, there are a lot more ways kids with diabetes can take care of themselves, like needles that look like pens, finger pokers that are much smaller and hurt a lot less. Injections are usually given at least two times a day, before breakfast and dinner. Sometimes more needles are necessary, depending on the person's schedule. People with pumps are connected constantly with their insulin supply, and just push a button to give themselves more insulin before meals. This is another way some kids can get insulin without having to give themselves injection after injection. As small as a pager, this personal computerized device acts like a normal pancreas. You have your own little gas can of insulin that's plugged into you. You still have to do your finger pokes throughout the day, but the pump can provide better control of the glucose levels, more flexibility, and more independence. It doesn't matter whether they use a pump or have needles. These kids must check their blood sugar levels by poking their finger at least four times a day. To do a blood test, you poke the fingertip with a sharp thing called the lancet. Then press the finger gently to push out a drop of blood. Next, touch the blood to a test strip that's in the handy-dandy electronic meter. Within seconds, 
You can see what your blood sugar levels are and determine what they need to be. People with diabetes may have to take a needle while at school, poke their finger to test their blood, eat snacks when no one else can, or can't eat snacks when everyone else can. One of the most, most, most important ways to take care of diabetes is to live a healthy life. That means making healthy food choices, keeping a schedule for eating, enjoying lots of exercise, plenty of fresh air, and lots of cheerful smiles. Hey, that's good for anyone who wants to be healthy, including you and other people who don't have diabetes. With diabetes, when you exercise or play sports and you are playing hard, sometimes really hard, that can affect your blood sugar level. And remember, your blood sugar level determines your energy level. For kids with diabetes, sometimes this means eating before the big game, like an apple or an orange. It also means they will need to check their blood sugar levels by poking their finger again. A normal pancreas would automatically lower insulin for extra exercise and raise it for extra food. But with diabetes, you gotta do it all yourself. And then there are other times. For example, when your teacher or your mom is handing out treats and your diabetic friend won't be able to eat them at the same time as everyone else. This is because their blood sugar levels may be too high to risk having more glucose produced or it is just not their time to eat. This means no treat now, save them for later. Kids with diabetes are just like everyone else. And because they have to look after themselves a little differently, it's important we know why. Now don't you think it's a good thing that you're aware of why and what kids with diabetes are doing? And that's why we are telling you all this, because you can help by being a good friend. And being a good friend means if you know your friend or classmate has diabetes and seems in some way to be struggling or not feeling well all of a sudden, get your teacher, go tell an adult right away. Sometimes, not very often, a person with diabetes blood sugar level can either drop or rise too quickly and then suddenly don't feel so well. An adult can help them to feel better. Symptoms of high blood sugar can include sleepiness and blurred vision. And symptoms of low blood sugar can include sweating, headaches, dizziness, and trembling. What's important is that caring people know about it and know what to do. And it's not just knowing what to do at school. It's on camping trips, sleepovers, going to the movies, and out for dinner, anytime, anywhere. For kids with diabetes, it's a bit of a balancing act, but it can be done. And with your understanding, we can make it that much easier.